Which do you like better? Do you like straight plays or, or singing? Straight plays. Really? That surprises me. Okay. I, I know. I've done a lot of musicals and I love them. I, they feel totally different to me. Musicals are um, like a spectacle usually. Uh, and the scenes are really short for the most part. And uh, you got to cram a lot into a scene. And then the apex of the scene is usually the song. Um, Interesting. But, but uh, plays, you just get more in depth into the character and the relationships between the characters. And uh, mm -hmm. it's a more, it's a, it's a more spiritual experience, I guess I would say. All right. Oh, oh, you can. Some musicals are amazing, like Sweeney Todd, uh, Ragtime. Like some, some achieved that same level, though. I would say, of uh, depth. Yeah. I'm not sure where to look here. Oh, that's the, <laughs> that's the never-ending question. I look at the. I mean, the camera's up too high. I look at. I'm just gonna look at you guys and you just deal with it. Okay. Yeah. yeah okay. All right. So what I am curious about is what digital media you use the most. Digital media? You mean for like... F Do you use Twitter the most, Instagram the most, Facebook the most? I guess I would say Facebook. Okay. Uh, um, Hi, Julie. Hello. For my experience in the Bay Area, uh, if, if you're an actor and you want to do theater, uh, it's, it's a good idea to have a Facebook account in which you have some level of, uh, act activity and, and because there, you can find auditions on Facebook, you can join local theater groups. There's one that's like the main one on there. You'd find it just called, I think it's called Bay area theater or something like that. They post constantly post auditions, uh, events things like that. Um, yeah. Just be so careful with your Facebook page to always uh, project the image that you want other people to see. Professionally, you mean? Yeah, I mean, you can put some political things and stuff, but just be kind of careful. Like, um, you don't want, you don't want, like, if you go in for an audition, uh, most almost always people are going to Google you. And if they go to your Facebook page and there's a bunch of weird stuff on there, they're going to like wonder, who, you know, what's going on. But I don't think any of you would do that. But I'm just saying. <laughs> you can never tell with this group. <laughs> exactly. Now you said that and there are Instagram some... Is, Instagram is growing, becoming more important. Yeah. Oh, okay. Instagrams are getting more... I don't use Instagram at all. Is Instagram based around a picture? Yeah, but you can message people. You can, it is based around photos, but it's just becoming more and more of something that's, that people are using. Um, but I'd still say Facebook for the, the San Francisco Bay Area is the main social platform that you would need to be on. Hey, there's okay. someone uh, pumping iron there behind you, Julia. Keeping in shape. Good. Uh, uh, <laughs> I love it. That's okay. I just, um, yeah. All these exciting things that happen in, during our classes. <laughs> so, so, Ray, between Instagram and Snapchat, what's the difference? Do you know? Snapchat? Yeah. Okay, well, I don't use Snapchat. Snapchat is mostly a, a messaging program for teenagers to send each other secret messages that other people can't find out about and their parents. So, okay. uh, um, I think. <laughs> all right. Well, I see, I never. I don't think that. it's all that. <laughs> I kind of thought Instagram was like that, but uh, it can be. Yeah, they can use. You can use Instagram that way too. But the main focus is Instagram are the photos, and then the you can write a lot of text under the photo. So you can have a photo. And with text that promotes whatever you want. So like oh. all the all your big stars and stuff are on definitely on Instagram. That's that's the main thing. But if you're just like a regular schmo like us, um, you know, uh, you you want to be on Instagram if you can. But I, I would definitely say Facebook, even though you know I have I have my qualms about Facebook. That's for sure. But and what are some of your qualms if we can ask? 
Well, I mean, just just their politics and the uh, you know what they their their lack of ethics when it comes to like our political system and that, wh who they allow to advertise and what they allowed the Russians to do and all that stuff just because. Mm -hmm. Well, Ray, yeah. what do you what do you suggest we should be doing during the coronavirus time to advertise uh, ourselves? Hands and spacing six feet. Well, we know that. <laughs> <laughs> we know that. And uh, uh, I mean, well, media wise. Yeah. So, well, a lot of I just went. To, I just attended a uh, a Screen Actors Guild uh, thing today. They have Neva, are you in SAG? Yes, I am. Oh, check it out. They have these really good Zoom meetings now. I'll send you. Oh, good. But anyway, it was uh, about dealing psychologically now with the COVID virus as a performer. Because a lot of people just um, have lost all, all of their... Did I just disappear? Yeah, uh, you did. I, and I, your volume has gone down. The volume's down too? Uh-huh. I don't know why I did that. Now I should be back. <laughs> You're back. You are back. I don't know what's going on. Um, what was I talking about? Uh, you went to a Zoom oh, set. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, um, God, they talked about a lot of different things, but just to acknowledge that it's difficult um, and that if you're a creative person, you might find yourself feeling a little lost uh, and just, you know, acknowledge that, grieve it. And if you then if you want to do other things on your own, go ahead and do it. Damn it. <laughs> right. I think I know. who never needs an audition they're going to ask you for something it's going to it's going to like if it's a, for a commercial they might send you some copy and you're going to have to read it um into the camera Which we're going to look at next week commercial copy got it so it's good to uh if they give you enough time and it's not a lot it's best to memorize it you know i mean still hold the hold it or put or you can, what i've done sometimes is put the paper in really big type on the wall like where i'm looking so people can't tell you're reading <laughs> Uh, but know it really well. If it's, um, if it's a musical, they're going to want you to sing a song or two. Uh, and you're going to have to have accompaniment. So you're going to have to plan it out. You know, you're going to have to have a speaker with the music playing. And uh, they're probably going to want to see your whole body. So you're going to have to put the camera far away. Uh, it's okay to use your cell phone. Right. Uh, if you have a tripod, that's good. If not, prop it up so that it's pretty, just a little bit above your eye line, just a little. And um, the background should not be uh, annoying in any way, but you don't need to stand right up against the wall. You don't need to do that. Yeah. Uh, and then just, you got to just, be, ton of energy. Okay. 
because it's going to, uh, and, and super friendly, like you're in the room with them even more so. Okay. Yeah. Uh, be super confident. If you need to do a number of takes, do them. So try to plan it ahead, plan ahead and don't wait till the last minute. Yeah. Uh, if they give you, if they give you some time, you know, if you find out three or four weeks ahead of time, don't wait, don't wait to the day before, uh, if you can, if you have to, then you have to, but, uh, what else? Um, mics, the microphones and most of the phones are pretty good, so you can use them. Um, I don't, they're not, they're not going to want anything highly produced. In fact, that might work against you. Mm, okay. Uh, uh if, it, if, it's, if it's a play, they're probably going to want you to do a monologue. And it, yeah, and not too plot. much makeup also, right, Ray? Although you don't have to think of that because you're a guy. Well, anytime you're a woman in theater, you don't, you don't want to put a, a, a lot of makeup. You, want, you, know, you need to put some makeup, definitely mm -hmm. some makeup for sure. But mm -hmm. you want to look like yourself, though, like everyday makeup. You know? Yes. Don't get all dolled up or whatever you you, call well, you don't need stage makeup for <laughs> no 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 definitely not definitely not no stage makeup uh what else so you so are there more you're, questions you're, oh, hi my name is ray renati my pieces are this and this and uh and i will be singing this and then do it and say and then at the end thank you very much bye bye and then don't don't say any don't any of the add anything extra don't make them sit there and listen to you give an excuse or, you know, don't say like, well, I just learned this song last week, but. Uh, That's for sure. Yeah, it's just like you walked into the room, you're confident, you do it, boom, just as if it were a real live uh, audition mm -hmm. with people there. Does that answer your question? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Are there any other questions for Ray? Well, I have another one if nobody else. Does anybody else? <laughs> Well, that's fine, Julie. You can have two. <laughs> so um, I'm a choreographer dancer and I've been in shows, you know, community shows for the last eight years. And I've just been studying acting seriously for the past year, Nothing. year and a half. And, um, you know, I've been doing the, the auditions with Total Bay or Theater Bay Area and a few little local ones. Um, I haven't gotten any callbacks yet. Um, so I'm just wondering how, just, just keep going. Like, are there, um, other things I can try to get into like student films or, you know, I just want to start getting some things on my resume. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, right, right. So yeah, student films, uh, Academy of Art College does a lot of student films. Okay. Um, I, you can go on Facebook and find it in the groups that are looking for actors or student films. Uh, Bay Area Theater Bums is a, a is also on Facebook. Check that out. Okay. Uh, the the San Francisco Film. Uh, remember San Francisco Film Society or something like that. They do all kinds of f film classes. They're always needing people. Oh. Oh, that's a great idea. I can't remember the name of it exactly, but you, you can look it up. Uh, yeah, so get into student films, take classes um, on uh, uh, classes and learn how to audition, practice auditioning in class, get feedback from the teacher. If it's a kind of class where you can get feedback from the students, get feedback from the students. Yeah. Uh, auditioning itself is just an art. Uh, it, you have to get to the point where it feels um, natural to you, so you're you don't feel like it's a big giant deal, and you're going to be all nervous and I'm gonna, I'm gonna, yeah, walk out of there thinking, "Oh, I screwed this up. I screwed that up." I, you know, uh, yeah. I I would say when you audition that you go there for three reasons: one, to perform. You get to perform for like three minutes. You love to perform, right? Two, yeah. you get to network and meet people who can hire you. And uh, three, it's practice. And mm -hmm. um, just remember that. Keep those in mind. 
and do the, the best that you can at those three things. And then when you leave, you're going to be fine because you know you did the best you could. Yeah. That's and just keep working at it. Don't ever give up because exactly. it takes a while. It, and also, if you don't have a lot on your resume yet, um, most companies, no matter how, how uh, great you might be in the audition, are going to hesitate to give you anything but a small role yeah. at first. And unfortunately, a lot of these community theaters, they, they don't have big casts, right? Like the plays are like small casts. The musicals have bigger casts, but I don't sing. So I'm kind of stuck. Lately, people have been doing plays with smaller casts because of the money issues. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They used to do plays with bigger casts. Um, yeah. 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 The other, the other thing you can do which people are doing a lot of, and Neva's done, and I've done with Neva, is produce your own stuff. Hmm. That's a lot of work. Yeah. It is true, and Ray directed something that I wrote. Oh, wow. I produced and yeah. acted in, and Ray directed it. Yeah, yeah. Gosh. Yeah, last year. And a lot of people do that now. You can always do that. Yeah. Oh, or you can write your own show. Mm-hmm. A lot of options. What okay. you've been doing? Julie just wrote something for a performance of something that got canceled. You can write a yeah. I wrote a, a comedy sketch. Um, no? Yeah. And, uh, per and performed in it. Well, we were about to go live. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> the other thing you can do, um, and tonight, actually, they're live right now, is a company called Shots in San Francisco. And I can get you the information, but you can tell them that you're interested and um, Shots? You thought, yeah, OTZ. OTZ? Yeah. Okay. Uh, and um, they, kind of, we kind of, they kind of have a company of people that they use, but um, you know, they might be able to fit you into, they do five minute plays, uh, oh. usually like six to eight of them and it's every month. Or now it's actually more often than which is time. perfect. Yeah. yeah, it's a lot of fun. Uh, you get it on your resume. Yeah, I was wondering in the uh, SAG uh, meetings that you were or Zooms you were going to, if they were talking about uh, the what the with the climate with the COVID nineteen going on. If it's hard to know what direction we're going in, it's eventually, but it's slow going. Mm -hmm. if they've addressed that at all. Yeah, I, a lot of it was just talking about a lot of self-care, you know, like uh, uh, journaling, being honest with yourself about how you feel, don't put a lot of pressure on yourself to get extra stuff done, um, uh, learning breathing techniques, yoga, you know, uh, self-acceptance, you know, all that kind of stuff. Because... It can be really stressful, particularly for creative people. Yeah. Sensitive people, you know, like many of us are. So basically that's what they talked about. It was kind of just good to, to be able to see, you know, 30 other people on the screen that felt like I did. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, there's all, there are all kinds of things like that now out there. Yeah. But this was good because it was all performers. So it just kind of made me feel uh yeah 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 it's true every day i feel like how am i not getting as much I know. accomplished as i think I, like what am i doing that i'm not getting more accomplished i know it's so weird isn't it it's like yeah. all this time now i can't get anything done <laughs> yeah I, it's um yeah yeah i talked to somebody about that because like i have so many huge projects i could be doing around the house like you know cleaning the pantry and I feel like a failure when it's, you know, I've only gotten like one shelf done. She, and he, she's like, no, you know, break down your chores and find successes in, you know, you clean yeah. one shelf. Great. You did a successful day. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you just, you know, be kind to yourself right now. Be kind sure. To yourself. Time is a weird thing. You know, we have this, we have this, we have this, uh, notion of what it is and it's not exactly right you know so we think 
oh, we have more time, so now we'll do more. But yeah, yeah. I'm, like I that. mean, yeah, almost when you're running around crazy, you can get those those chores or those projects done more efficiently than now. When what exact? I just I feel so silly. What? Why? Why can't I get more done? <laughs> well, also it's like uh, I was just thinking about this today. Um, and I just mentioned it in my podcast a little bit. I tried to be humorous about it, but because of con you know constant television, constant social media, constant CNN, MSNBC, Fox. You know, I, luckily I don't have those things, but you can still watch them on YouTube. It's it's never off your mind <laughs> unless you can somehow just stay away from it all, right? Um, I was thinking like if this was 40 years ago, you'd get the news twice a day. Someone would leave some leaflet at your house and you follow the rules and then you just go about your business and do what you can. But now, <laughs> now they just make, they have to make it work. Uh, they just, you know, like that little red, you see that little red ball graphic? <laughs> yes. That looks like a close up of some horrible insect with all, uh, I mean, what the hell? It's like, you already feel horrible about this. And then they show you this like yeah. monstrous thing. Yeah. <laughs> that looks like it's going to just jump out of your screen and attack you, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I think too, it's um, for creative types that, um, uh, you know, are more sensitive and, and a little more ADD, right? So like yeah. I'll start something and immediately get tired of it and start something else. So I have messes everywhere and still my creative mind wants to do choreography and do my photography. And, you know, so I'm just, I feel like I'm just everywhere and I can't find the Zen. It's just, yeah. 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 Me too. Yeah. You, you just a lot of people like that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the day goes by in a flash and you're like, crap, I didn't get, you know, half the things done I wanted to get done today. Yeah. It's five o'clock. <laughs> I just got out of bed. Okay. Um. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I have a, um, speaking of breathing techniques and anxiety. Um, funny, when I, when I perform, when I dance on stage, I don't get nearly as nervous as when I have to do an audition or speak on stage. And I have the hardest time calming myself down. Do you have tips and techniques for that right before you get on stage yeah. for audition and stuff? Yeah. Yeah. So, um, have you been dancing for a quite a while? Yeah. Mm -hmm. or, like since you were a kid, or? Uh, well, I had eleven years of formal training, um, and then you know, through college. Yeah. And. Then, kind of went off and, you know, did other stuff and, uh, and then started back up performing uh, about nine years ago. Okay. Yeah. So you're naturally going to not have as many nerves about that because it's something that you've mastered to some yeah. extent, right? So uh, as far as the other thing goes, you're, most people are going to have stage fright to some extent. Yeah. Um, there are a lot of different things you can do. Like you can do physical exercise to the point where you actually exert yourself a lot like not too soon before you uh, have to walk on stage because you might be out of breath <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, uh, opera singers do this thing where they shake their whole body like this is like wow. and do this like really like vigorous breathing and it just kind of well, tires they, their muscles just get all relaxed Wow. Uh, you can do, um, I've seen people push against the wall really hard. The other thing you can do is there's a thing called a psychological gesture. Uh, and you can, they had that in their, in their notes last week, the psychological gesture. Oh, I didn't put that right. No, I wrote it. Oh, okay. So <laughs> yeah. So, um, Michael Chekhov, who was this famed acting teacher years ago, um, his, uh, his one of his ideas was the psychological gesture, and see how do I explain this short in a short way? So your character has an essence about them, and there's usually a line or two that kind of uh, describes 
who they are pretty closely and you can come up with some physicalization of that line of that thought and you can actually do it before you go on stage it'll ground you in that character okay I, uh, and the other thing that I do is I, I imagine the audience and I imagine the other actors on stage with me and it's like a triangle. We're all there communicating to help one another learn this something from this story, whether it's a life lesson or just to laugh or whatever. Like I'm performing a service. You know what I mean? Like I don't have to worry about being good. All I have to do is just do the best I can and I know they're gonna like me. I, I, I don't know how to explain. Or sometimes what I've done is, oh, Mike, uh, like I am playing, I don't know, Henry Higgins to, today. Well, for some reason, Henry Higgins is really nervous today. <laughs> <laughs> and I walk out, I'm nervous Henry Higgins. You know, it's like, um, why wouldn't Henry Higgins be nervous once in a while? But then maybe the circumstances of the play would change around how you, you know, would change how you actually feel. But if you're nervous, you're nervous. Mm -hmm. Don't, don't, the more you try to fight it, the more nervous you're going to get. Exactly. Yeah. You can do, yeah. you can substitute it with something else, like some of the things I just said, but don't concentrate on trying not to be nervous because yeah. that, that ain't going to work. I used to do right. that years ago and I would just like be a wreck, you know, um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which is hard to believe. <laughs> well, yeah. Ray, we don't want to keep you. We've kept you long enough. Um, thank you so much for coming. Unless someone else has a pressing question for him right before he leaves. Okay. All righty. Well, we want to say thank you so much for coming and for helping out when I was off off the uh, grid there. Sure. Yeah. I'm glad you got back on. Yes, thank, thank you. you all. Thank you so I much. If you have any questions or anything, uh, I can just hear. I can just type my email. Okay. Uh, there you go. Okay. Uh, or if you want to call me, you can. Let's see. That's very kind of you, Ray. Thank you. Sure. All righty. Take care. Thank okay. you. Nice Bye. meeting you. Nice meeting you too. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye.